In this work, we present PLOY, planning with learned object importance, a method for efficient planning in large problem instances. We are interested in planning in the wild. One immediate challenge is that real world applications often feature hundreds or thousands of objects, all of which must be included in the state to cover the space of possible tasks. For instance, consider a household robot that is responsible for many duties within the home, like cooking, washing dishes, dusting, and many others. Its state representation must contain information about many, many objects, such as cleaning supplies, food ingredients, appliances, and so on. But when given a particular task, many of these objects in the state become totally irrelevant to solving that task. When the goal is to make pasta, the robot should ignore the laundry detergent and the dirty shirt. But when the goal is to clean the shirt, the robot should ignore the pasta and pot. In general, for any particular initial state and goal, the robot should realize that many objects are extraneous in the context of the task and ignore them accordingly. Unfortunately, modern planners do not scale well to this regime where we have many contextually extraneous objects. These graphs show the performance of Fast Downward, a widely used classical planner, on two popular planning domains when a number of extraneous objects have been added to the state. We can see that the performance gets substantially worse as the number of such objects increases. In this paper, we explore the idea of learning which objects are important for a given initial state and goal. There are several benefits of making predictions at the level of objects. First, object prediction allows us to treat the underlying planner, whether a classical planner, task and motion planner, or something else, as a black box. Second, its runtime is insensitive to the number of ground actions in the problem. Third, object prediction allows for efficient inference. And fourth, we can afford to make errors in one direction. It's not so bad for the model to think that a particular object is important when it actually isn't for the given goal. Given a large planning problem, our method, Planning with Learned Object Importance, or PLOI, proceeds in two phases. In the first phase, we use a graph neural network that has been learned on smaller training problems to predict an importance score for each object in the state. In this example, to go from the initial state to the goal, the robot does not need to interact with block C in any way and so we see the network assigns a low importance score to block C. In the second phase, we incrementally plan, adding more objects at each iteration until a solution has been found by a geometrically decreasing threshold on the importance scores. Let us now zoom into the graph neural network architecture that we use. First, the initial state and goal are converted into logical expressions over a set of predicates. Then, each node in the graph is associated with an object. Its features are the unary expressions referencing that object in either the initial state or the goal. The features of each edge are the binary expressions referencing that pair of objects in either the initial state or the goal and in either argument order. Having constructed this graph, we run several iterations of message passing to obtain the set of importance scores, one per object. Experimentally, we see that PLOI performs very well compared to several baselines, including vanilla fast downward and several learning to ground baselines. These graphs show the average planning time and failure rate within a 120 second timeout for the various methods on the gripper domain. The left graph shows that PLOI is much faster than all other methods evaluated. We see a similar trend on the blocks domain, and others as well. Please see the paper for the full set of experimental results. One of the nice properties of PLOI is that it's able to reason about continuous object properties, since these properties are just additional inputs to the graph neural network. We demonstrate this ability in a continuous task and motion planning robotic domain. In this domain, the goal is to cook the green object, which requires first washing it in the sink and then putting it on the stove. Many other objects are scattered throughout the tabletop, some of which must be carefully avoided for collisions. Here we see the importance scores that PLOI has learned to assign each object in the domain after training on 40 problem instances. The sink, stove, and target object are given the highest scores in red. Obstacles in the vicinity of the target object, sink, and stove are given higher scores than those farther away, indicating that the graph neural network has learned to reason about object geometry based on the continuous state. PLOI then uses the importance scores to determine which objects are contextually extraneous. Ignoring these objects sets up a much simpler version of the planning task, which enables much more efficient planning. The plan found succeeds on the original problem instance. Thank you for watching.